What's up carnivores, Zach here with American Smoke and today we're gonna to make some Texas style spare ribs. We're gonna be cooking these at 250 degrees on the Camp Chef. Let's get into it. It's a very simple way of making ribs. That's what Texas barbecue is all about. It's a simple way, but do it right and do it good and be consistent and that's Texas barbecue. Today, we're gonna to get into a uh, untrimmed rack of spare ribs here. Haven't touched these, just sort of got them out of the packaging. So you come on the back side right here and you've got a breast bone on the outside of the ribs. All you've really gotta do is just find the edge of that bone where it meets up with the ribs go straight down through there. You know, you might find some cartilage. You see that right there? Thick cartilage that you're gonna have to cut through. But just make a straight line right down that bone. Now you can do whatever you want to with this. There's a little bit of meat and a lot of fat on it. You can uh, use this for something if you want, trim it up, put it into some sausage, whatever you wanna do. We're probably not gonna be doing anything with it today. We're coming around the backside and we're looking for the thinner portions of the ribs. And this one, this rack in particular has a, uh, a lot of this thin skirt meat and we're gonna trim that off right through there. We're not gonna be doing a St. Louis cut. That's one good thing about Texas style ribs is you wind up keeping more of the meat. St. Louis cuts a lot prettier, but more meat with these. Then you get down here to the end and you've got a lot more of this thin meat and some small rib bones, and we're gonna go ahead and remove those as well. One trick is to find the bone, right? And make sure that you cut straight along that bone so that you know exactly where the, lib the ribs alignment are. So when you go to cut your ribs later on, you kind of know what direction to start off. That way you don't hit those bones as much. From there, we're just gonna remove the rest of this skirt. Big chunk of fat down here, that's not gonna render. Now there are some places on this rack where you've got some heavier fat. You can remove that if you like. But now we're just gonna trim up just slightly. I am not gonna be removing the membrane. You can remove the membrane, but what I'm gonna be doing is called scoring the membrane. That's where you just cut some lines across. Let smoke and seasoning penetrate a little bit. It's just a uh, low hassle way of doing ribs. Come over here to the front. We're gonna kind of scan around and see if we've got a lot of extra fat. And down here on the very end, we do. You're always gonna find this down here most of the time. You can just trim that up a little bit. You don't have to remove all of it, but it is gonna help you to have a little bit better bark, a little bit more smoke penetration, and a little bit better flavor on your bark. But I'm pretty happy with how those look. Got a nice straight line down my ribs, nice straight line there. If you find any little pointy pieces, you can uh, trim those back a little bit because those are just gonna dry out and get crunchy and not necessarily have the type of bite that you're looking for. But aside from that, that's all we're gonna do right there. Next step, flip this over and we're gonna be uh, just going on with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic on these Texas style ribs. A lot of Texas barbecue is just salt and pepper. Occasionally people will throw a little something extra in there. Uh, for ease of use, what we've got today is some of Lane's salt, pepper, and garlic. It's a great ratio. If you're mixing up your own seasoning, typically in Texas, the way that they're gonna do it is gonna go two parts pepper to one part salt, and that's gonna allow for a nice peppery flavor on your barbecue with the right amount of saltiness. But you don't wanna to go too heavy on the salt and too light on the pepper. We're gonna be using the moisture on these ribs as the binder today. Uh, the wind is messing with us, so we're just gonna pause for a second, wait for the wind to calm down. Got a brief break in the wind. Let's go ahead and get these seasoned up. I am not using any binder. Uh, there's plenty of moisture here. And what we're gonna do is not put a binder on in hopes that we're gonna be getting a little bit more smoke penetration that 
our binder doesn't act as a barrier to seasoning. Just make sure you've got a nice even coat. You can let that sweat on a little bit. Look for thin spots, make sure it's nice and even, but you can just pat it on. Don't try to rub it on, just pat it on. Flip it over. This is gonna be your pretty side. And if you don't wanna trim your ribs up, you definitely don't have to. This is just gonna give you more of a consistent doneness on the uh, main event of your cook. But you can see this Lane salt, pepper, garlic has got a nice, very nice blend of salt, pepper, and garlic chunks. It's gonna put a great coarse look onto the barbecue and a great flavor. I'm gonna let that sweat on for a few minutes. We've got the Camp Chef running at 250 degrees and we're gonna be cooking no wrap ribs today. And that's how we're gonna do it. Scrape up any extra you've got on your cutting board and just sort of rub it around the edges. That way every bite's got a lot of flavor on it. We're gonna be cooking these meat side up. There is a hot spot right here on the camp shelf over our burn pot. Today, cooking these ribs, I've got post oak pellets burning in my hopper and we're going to be putting some post oak chunks in the secondary burn pot that way it's really got that authentic texas barbecue flavor so it's all about simplicity when it comes to texas simplicity and quality and what i'm going to do What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little handful of these charcoal pellets and put it down into the bottom of my burn pot. That's gonna help to ignite the wood and it's also gonna help to add in a little extra charcoal flavor onto my barbecue. A mighty wind has blown in and it has gotten cold. As you notice, I've got my big puffy jacket on. It was the closest one to the door. But we're gonna go ahead, uh, our ribs have come up to temp. I checked them between the bones a while ago and uh, we're right there at about a little over 200 degrees. So maybe even a little over. They've been going for about four and a half hours. I was expecting between four and five. So that's what we got. We're gonna see if we can figure out how to get some foil out. I think what we'll do is pull this knife right on this foil. Y'all quit making fun of me. Get them on there. I'm just gonna do it with my cotton gloves on. My cotton gloves! My special gloves. All right, that's enough of that. Yeah. What do you think? You think I can get by with one? I think I can get by with one. Alrighty. Ooh, I don't know. I might need two hands to pick these up. Them mothers. Ooh, those are pretty. Them are pretty, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wind, the river wind is always playing them games. Y'all know it is. Get our light back. Yeah, buddy, we got some great pullback on those bones. Yeah, that is just right. See if I can get this, this fall. Now, a lot of times what you would do is put some barbecue sauce or something down, but for these ribs, I'm really wanting to know what the flavor of just the basic pure smoke with salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic is gonna do for them. So what I am gonna do, if I can, is I'm gonna flip them meat side down, and we're just gonna wrap them and let them rest. Now that we've got these wrapped up, we're gonna let them sit in the cooler for about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll get them out, see how we did. We've already gotten uh, some of our little cuts that I, y'all thought, I probably thought I was gonna waste them, but I got some of these cuts, uh, the bigger pieces that I cut off of this rack and we cooked them. Let me tell you something, I'm in for a treat. We'll see y'all in just a little bit when these are done resting. All right, so this is just straight 
lanes, salt, pepper, garlic, doing it Texas style barbecue cooked with straight up post oak pellets, post oak chunks in the Camp Chef woodwind. We ran this at 250 degrees all the way through the cook. When they got to temp, got the look that we wanted them, right around that 200 mark, wrapped them in full, let them rest for about 30 minutes, and we've got a really, really nice finished product here. I couldn't be happier with how these look. I think that uh, be hard pressed to find prettier ribs. Super tender on the bottom. Yeah, that's just pretty, juicy, tender ribs. Really, really nice. For anybody that's wondering just how tender they are, you let's see here, just, yeah, just twist the bones, pull the bones out, no big deal. And this is no wrap, you know, no wrap, no binder, easy. Texas style barbecue. Let's check on that bite. Really good. Really nice. The flavor, if you haven't made Texas style barbecue, the flavor, there's so much more there than you expect. Because if you're used to using all the sweet rubs and everything, you're thinking, man, just salt and pepper and a little garlic, you know. But you don't put that heavy, heavy, heavy coat on it. And you get a lot more smoke penetration, a lot more smoke binding to the surface of the meat. And it really helps to meld with the flavor of that salt and pepper and that garlic. And it really creates something nice. If you haven't tried Texas style barbecue, give it a shot. Um, I hope this gave you some confidence to give it a shot. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know down in the comments below, do you make Texas style barbecue? And what do you think? Y'all, come over to American Smoke Carnivores on Facebook. I'm in there just about every day. Thanks for watching. Smoke on, and I'll see you guys in the next video.